Summary of a Family Supper by Kazuo Ishiguro The narrator, a young Japanese man who has been living in America, says that fugu, a fish that became popular in Japan after World War II, has special meaning to him because it killed his mother. His mother ate fugu, which can kill you if it's cooked wrong, because a friend made it for dinner. The narrator also says that he found out about his mother's death two years after she died, when he went to Japan to see his family. The narrator's father picks him up at the airport and takes him to the house where he grew up. The narrator talks about how his father's law company went out of business. His father tells him that his partner Watanabe, who killed himself because he was ashamed of the firm's failure, was a man of principle. Kikuko, the younger sister of the person telling the story, meets them soon after. Kikuko is quiet when her father is around, but when he goes, she acts more like herself. When the siblings go outside to talk, Kikuko tells the narrator that she and her boyfriend are thinking about hitchhiking across America. The brothers and sisters then talk about the well in the backyard and the ghost they used to think lived there. The narrator talks about Watanabe's suicide, and Kikuko says that before killing himself, Watanabe killed his wife and two children. The narrator tells Kikuko that he sees the ghost and describes her as an old woman in a white robe. He doesn't answer directly to this news. Kikuko thinks that he is scaring her on purpose. Kikuko's father tells her to finish making dinner while he shows the storyteller around the house. He shows the storyteller a few empty rooms and then a messy room with a model battleship in it. The narrator's father says quickly that he thinks the narrator's mother killed herself. The storyteller looks at a picture of an old woman in a white kimono when the family sits down for dinner. His father is surprised that he doesn't recognize her as his own mother. When they start to eat, the reporter asks the father what kind of fish he made, and he says, just fish. After a long pause, the person telling the story asks if there's enough fish for seconds. The father says there is enough, and everyone reaches for more. After dinner, the storyteller sits in the tea room with his father. The narrator tells his father that Watanabe killed himself. His father says that it was a mistake that Watanabe killed his family. At the end of the story, the father says that he hopes his kids will come back to live with him. He says that he thinks the narrator will go back to the United States, but he thinks Kakuko will come home after she finishes college. About the author Kazuo Ishiguro came to Surrey, England with his family when he was six years old. He was born in Nagasaki, Japan. He went to school at the University of Kent at Canterbury and got a BA in both English and philosophy. Then, he went to the University of East Anglia to get an MA in creative writing. There, he worked with Angela Carter and Malcolm Bradbury. Ishiguro's first big literary works, A Pale View of Hills and An Artist of the Floating World, came out in 1982 and 1986, respectively. In 1989, his book The Remains of the Day won the Booker Prize for fiction. Since then, he has written four more books, a collection of short stories, and the screenplay for the 2004 movie The Saddest Music in the World, which he wrote with Guy Madden and George Tolles. Ishiguro was given the Nobel Prize in Literature in 2017 for his services to world literature. In 2019, Prince Charles of England knighted him for the artistic value of his body of work. Hope we summarized it fully and you liked it. Please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel so that we are motivated to create more videos.